Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. So today is gonna be the start of our Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. Um, I usually post these videos on Saturday, but this is gonna be a multi-part video, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it right now, and then we'll see how far we get. And like I said, probably have multiple videos. So today's project is inspired by Tracy Fox, and I will share her information in the description box below. And I wanted to make, and I've been wanting to do this for a little while, well, ever since I've seen them. She made some tag books, and it's kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, I've never made one. I think they're amazing, and they look so fun to make. And when they're finished, they just look, hers look amazing. So I want to give it a try. And what I'm going to be using for this tag book is last month's kit, um, the Savannah collection by Stamperia. Now the kit is sold out, but you guys that have it, go ahead and feel free to play along with me. I might be using other elements that were not in the kit, but probably similar things that you have in your stash as well. Um, I will be doing sewing in this project and gluing and measuring, and I'm sure we're going to have lots of hiccups, but I want to give it a go. And so I thought I would turn the camera on and just start. I was going to pre-make one and I was like, no, I'm just going to I'm just going to wing it here and try to do my best. So, okay, um, in the kit, you got the 12 by 12 paper pack. I, however, also had the 8 by 8 paper pack. Now, you can use the 12 by 12. You just have to cut your pages down. I'm using the 8 by 8. It has the same exact pages as the 12 by 12. And I know you got a 6 by 6 paper pack, too, in your kit. So maybe you can manipulate my measure my measurements and you know do it how you want to, bigger, smaller, or cut your pages down to this size. So um, uh, Tracy did five pages and she recommends doing an even number. So I'm gonna do six and we have Bailey here. So if you hear all that commotion behind me, that's her. Um, she's at least not barking or trying to eat my table or anything today. But she is shredding her blanket, if you hear that. So she likes to rip things. So she has a trashy old blanket that she is allowed to shred. That's what that noise is. Hopefully that she just goes to sleep pretty soon. Okay, so what I did is I pulled out six of the pages out of my 8x8 eight eight pack. And um, I needed to cut them down to 7 inches by 8 inches. So 7 inches tall by 8 inches wide. So obviously with the 8x8, eight eight, I just had to take an inch off the top or the bottom. And that's what I've done with six of them. Now, I'm not going to back these because Stamperia paper is pretty thick. If I do need to back things, though, I do have craft cardstock, the craft colored cardstock. And you can just use Amazon packaging or any kind of packaging or, or I mean, coffee dyed paper work, too. So what I'm going to do is I cut these down seven inches tall by eight inches wide. And now I'm going to decide if I want to use the front or the back because these are going to be folded, you know, so... Obviously, I wouldn't want to cut off his face right, the elephant's face right there. So I'm going to line them up on here. I'm just going to score them from top to bottom at four inches. Okay, so let's see, at four inches, let's see, where is four inches going to put us? We're going to cut that little elephant's face right off, um, which I don't think I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use the back on this one, I believe. Yeah, we're going to use the back on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and score at four inches. And then I'm going to fold that. And that's pretty close. Okay. So that is going to be one of our pages. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all of them. And like I said, I'm going to look and see where my... Let's just go like this here and hold this at four. Okay, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna use this as the top here. So go ahead and score that at four. That one moved a little on me. Hopefully we're not too far off. Oh, that's close enough. Okay. And I'm just gonna set those all there. And again with this one, same thing. Let's see where four is going to put us. We'll get his face on there, and on this side, we'll get his back side, which we can cover with a pocket or something. So, I mean, I'm okay with his face being over there. 
We're going to, I think, let's see. Ooh, that one's cool too, though. I think I'm going to use this side. I like the other side too, but I think this one is more interesting. In that way, some of the pages are like the back side and some of them are the front, you know, with the animals. Okay. So, and also I did keep all my little off cuts in here because we're going to use those too, I think. Okay, same thing here. Where is this one going to go? Okay, that side would be okay. And here again, we're going to have the elephants behind on there, which is okay. We can cover that up. I think I'm going to use this side. Yeah, we can, we can fix that. Bailey, lay down. All right, this one is really cool too. However, I kind of like that. So... And I really like the tree. Yeah, we're gonna leave this one this way and just not look at the back. I know the backs are just as pretty as the fronts on them. Bailey, seriously. What are you gonna do when you have it in a million pieces and you no longer have your shredder blanket? <laughs> Cause you're not getting mine. Okay, that's a giraffe pattern. I wanna use this side, so I'm hoping it's gonna work. Okay, the giraffe side works and that works. Yeah, all right. Okay, so score that one. We have six pieces now scored in half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my scoreboard aside and hopefully Bailey doesn't try to eat it. And then I'm going to take all of these and I just you need to cut the tops into corners. I'm just gonna use, I have this that I use all the time, you know, my tag shape. And I'm gonna use this little one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line all of them up and give them a snip and flip that over and do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, you guys go ahead and check out um, her process and her, the little tag book she made, they're adorable. So thank you, Tracy, for the inspiration. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm a little bit intimidated, honestly, because I've never done anything just like this. Um, I did kind of start something similar to this with file folders. I have that kind of going too, and I put it in another bin because I wanted to do this one with the, um, with this paper pack. And I am going to also, I believe, make a journal with this paper pack. I love this set, so I'm sure I'll have a lot of different projects made out of that collection. And I went ahead and got myself some of the extra elements, so... I don't know if I'll make the journal on um, on video or not, but we'll see. So we're back to winter here in Minnesota today, which I am so over it. I just, ugh, I'm done with it. But uh, we're near the end. <laughs> we didn't get near as much snow as some of the forecast said. Um, However, a flake is too much for me at this point. I just want I just want spring and not the messy wet spring, but the nice fun spring, you know. Those days where you can go outside with a t-shirt and be like, wow, it's warm out. <laughs> okay, I have all these little pieces here to clean up. All right. So there we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which one I would like to have as my front cover. Um, okay, so these are going to be this way. I have to remember that, Bailey. So the opening of your tag is going to be facing your left-hand side. So I couldn't use this for the top which would have been really cool, wouldn't have it? Um, but this one would work too. I want something more planar because I want to decorate the top. Um, so all of them are going to be this way. Bailey, no. That one would be cool, but then we'd have to cover them up. So that would be, I like that as a page better. Okay. 
I kind of think I want this to be my front cover just because like I said, I'm going to cover it up. Um, however, that is a really fun one. Sorry guys, I just got to figure this out here. So then I would like that page. And then one of the plain ones I'm thinking, or maybe not. Okay, let's lay this out. So this is gonna be our front. So what do I want next to this one? Kind of thinking one of the, yeah, that one I like. And then, okay, that one works. Yeah, I kind of like the orange with the orange, so I think that one is going to be next. And then, let's see, if we do this one, and then this one would be our back. So that would be the back of, of it, which would be okay too. Or do I want a plain one on the back? I think we're going to leave that like that. So what I'm going to do now just for my own remembering is we're not gonna see the insides at all so I'm gonna put a one here okay and you don't have to do this this is just for my own two three I'm trying not to look at these it's just yeah just can't use them all four and is this right? Yeah, I think I'm right. Five and six. Okay. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I have the, um, and you can use any paper, I have the background um, paper pad, and I only have that in the big one, um, but I'm trying to find something for um, what she did on hers was she cut out a three by six inch tag and used that on the top. And I really liked the look of that. And so I'm trying to find, um, a background that kind of works with these colors and kind of, when I look at the cover, I want to know what the inside is, you know, like going to be. So I kind of like to get all the colors in there. Usually, um, not always. I love this tree here. And so I'm wondering if I just use the I'm not gonna get a lot of the colors in there but if I use the I'll show you what I'm thinking like this tree here you kind of see the tree in the background and it has a little bit of the colors but, but more of like I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> just ignore me but that is cool too I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this cut this piece off here and I'm gonna trim that down we won't know unless we lay it out there I really like this here so I'm gonna try let's see see what it's gonna be at three if I cut that at three we will get the majority of that in there okay three now if I cut this by six and then there we can still decorate on the top if we wanted to or look at this. Okay, so we have two of them to look at. Um, I okay, this one just feels right to me. Um, put that in my off cuts. And then I think we need a darker boulder. Or, you guys know what? Um, let me think here for a second. I'm sorry. Like I said, this is kind of, it's the first time, so I don't... I don't know for sure exactly what I want to do. Um, hmm. I'm just cutting this tag top just so I can visually see what that's gonna look like. And I'm not even sure now. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just we're just doing. See those colors are cool up there too. But I think the more muted, blended look. I'm going to grab something. I'll be right back. It's not going to be way too bulky and big, I think, maybe. What if we don't use this one? 
in here. And we just use I have craft paper too. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What am I doing? Just gonna rip that a little bit thinner. And I think I'm okay with the top being straight down there. Okay. I'm pull this kind of get rid of that bottom there. Now I'm wondering if I put the straight on the bottom. Okay, I really do think I like that on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my black soot as the ink that I'm going to use for this little book. I'm just going to distress my cardboard here a little bit. There won't be a whole lot of inking, I don't think. In, Yeah, I really like the black on there. Okay, so now what I want to find is one a piece of something that's narrower um where is my let's see here the rest of these eight by eights let's get let's look at those i don't directly want one animal but you know what we have we have this from the kit Let's see, what do we have? It would be kind of fun to do it, like, um, I don't know, like, if somebody were going to the zoo or on, you know, like a safari or something, you can, because there's not a lot of journaling room in here, there'll be tags and stuff and pockets, but... You can put pictures in there and different things. So I do like the black and white on this one. I think it's just because it, this is, or not white, but you know, the black stripes on here. So let's see, just make sure. I don't want one animal on there. Um, but what about the tree? Because we have the trees in the background there. Not a fan of that one. Uh, still don't know if that's exactly what I'm looking for. We're gonna leave that one out there, just in case. And I'm gonna move these, um, set them aside. Okay, I, I do just, I really like that on there. I think I wanna add some cheesecloth and stuff behind it, but we're not gonna glue it together yet. We, we'll figure that out. I know you guys probably just fast forward it because I'm just kind of rambling here. And these little tags, what about? Let's go ahead and just cut out really quickly a couple of these tags. I think I have the coffee shakes. <laughs> I 
Okay, I do like that on there. Um, let's go ahead and ink that. And do we want, maybe, let's cut this one out too. Okay, I kind of like that, the two of them. Let's go ahead and give that a little bit of ink. I do want to um, go and find out some cheesecloth. I feel like coffee stained cheesecloth or something would be good on there. And I think I'm going to punch these out. Um, what did I do with my cup? Of Who knows, right? I don't know. I'm going to punch those out. And then we have from the kit... Uh, where did I bury it? Some of our cord, and I think I'm going to tie those on there. So I'm going to go try and find some fabric or cheesecloth or something, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so for the life of me, I could not find any coffee stained cheesecloth, um, and I don't want to take time to go and do it and then dry it. I know it wouldn't take me that long, but when I was digging, I found this green little piece of fabric, and I think it works really well with these colors. So I'm going to set that aside, and I did rip a piece to put there. Just setting it there. So what I'm going to do with this is I think I'm going to take my walnut stain here and I'm going to see if I can't just you know, maybe grunge that up with that. Be quicker and stick into the Velcro on my little dauber end. can use your distress sprays to do this too, but like I said, I didn't want to wait for it to dry. I'm just kind of putzing, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm happy with that color. We'll see when we get it on there, but. Okay, now all these little string ends and stuff, I'm just gonna set aside on a pile. We might use those. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that's going to be too much. I'm just kind of messing it up here. And then we just kind of lay that on there, maybe. Okay. I think I, I, I'm thinking I like that on there, just like that. So what I'm going to do is, can we glue this on there yet? I don't think we can. So I'm going to take this whole entire topper, was what we're going to call it, and I'm going to set that aside just like this so I can try to remember, because you guys know I will change my mind and forget, try to remember what we did with that. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab... So I'm just going to rip some of this, it's like craft paper. Just, I don't want the whole piece, sorry for the noise. Just work with a smaller piece here. And I think what I'm going to do with this is anywhere, so I'm not going to do anything with the, the front. I am going to ink it so that when I'm looking at it, I know if it's inked, I have a plan for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so... If it's inked, don't do anything with it. Okay. Okay, so that is our front. Now we are going to have this, and I gotta look at this together here. Our next page that goes there is this one, I believe. Yep, two. Okay, so. Um, anywhere where I want to add some journaling space or something where, you know, we could get some more in there. Like, I'm okay with leaving this. I like the colors of it, and you could journal over this. Um, I'm not even sure if I really want a pocket on here. It's going to be hard. I don't want to cover the papers up, but let's just rip some and see about...
just adding a little extra. I don't think so, you guys. Honestly, I think I'm just going to do... This paper is so pretty and I don't want to cover it. I think we're just going to do a lot of pockets and then journaling space on the back of tags and stuff. I know. Okay, so we can add, easily add a pocket down here. So let's find some of our... I think I'm going to use the background paper pad here. Try and find something that we like with those. So this is what's down there. Um, so let's go ahead and just use that and make a pocket. It obviously matches, you know what I mean? Because it's on the paper. And the whole the whole paper pack matches, so it really doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and grab, now that I set my topper up here on top of everything that I'm going to need, which was very intelligent, right? I'm just going to grab this little paper trimmer here. And now I need this to be four inches wide because we scored that at four. So four inches I need to cut this. I'm just going to cut the whole thing because then we have four inches, you know, for pockets on any other pages. And I think this is a good pattern to use. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. Now, how big do we want our pocket to be is the question. Right to his little feet there, so right on that, close to that line. Okay, now I think I'm gonna flip it and put that on the bottom. Okay, I didn't get that. It's a little less than four because of the score, so I'm just gonna trim a little piece off. See, I think I like that as the bottom piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my um, my little puncher thing. All right, and I just eyeball this, you know, like always. And that's not exactly straight, but it'll work. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and ink these two. I think it'll show a little better with the, the black soot on the pocket edge, you know. And these are all gonna be stitched around. There's gonna be a lot of stitching. Okay, so we have that pocket. Now we need a tag or something to go in that. Or maybe we'll fill the, t the pockets after. So, okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and ink this one. So now we have a pocket for that one. I know it probably doesn't make sense, but to me, if I visually, if I can see that it's inked, I'll know that I have something done with it because there's gonna be a lot of little pieces here. And then also, oops, that was smart. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab really quickly some clips. These won't be left in there, but I'm gonna clip that right on there so I know where that goes. Okay, and then that's gonna be the top. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave this one. Get this out of here for a second again. So this is the, that one. I don't want to cover the tree. Um, we could, however, do a small little pocket here, which I think is what I want to do. Um, or you know what we could do? We could just add a ruffle or something on there too. Or would that be too bulky in our tag book? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Okay, just thinking here. Okay, that's directional. What if we did a tuck spot on the top? Let's do that. And I'm gonna go 
just below the tag here, I think. I'm gonna use this end and I'm gonna cut it right along this, you can see that little line there. So now we've used all three choppers here, right in that area. Okay, and I'm guessing this is, again, gonna need to be cut a little bit or like a belly band, let's do a belly band. And that one looks pretty good size. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ink this. We'll do a belly band on this one and then we'll make a little notepad. I think that'll be nice. Okay, so we have this one, we have something for this one then. So go ahead and ink around there. I really like how the black soot looks on this paper pack. Okay, and we're gonna decorate these when we get to that point. For right now, we're just building our parts and stuff. Okay, so that is gonna be a belly band. And that's gonna flip like that. And then, let's see, this is the next one. Okay, so Tracy did some flips in hers and I thought they were really cool. So I think I want to try that. Now, she used, I think it was Rolodex cards to cover. I have these little things that I had found at a thrift a thrift shop. So I'm going to see if I can't get these to work. They're little, oh, what do you call them, index guides. Now I have to think this through. Um, so we want it to flip, I want this one to flip in like this, I believe. Yeah, I think so. So let's go ahead and cover this one, right? What if we did a flip on this side and then a flip on the side. I really like this. I don't want to do anything with this one. But if we did, you know, the two flips. Is this going to be our center? It's not. Our In the center would be really cool, I think, to do these. Right? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Unless we did them together and did a pocket in there. I'm just thinking out loud. If we cover them and stitch them, we could do a pocket. Hmm. Okay, if we flip that. We're gonna cover these. Okay, so that one goes back there, that one goes over there. Now, let's cover these so we can journal on them with just craft paper. I think we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, and I think I might cut actually these little tabs off because if um no i'm gonna leave it all right figure it out here so i'm gonna grab my scotch crate glue stick I'm going to grab my glue book i'm burying myself that's what happens i end up working in a spot this big you know so we're going to go ahead and cover those. I don't have to worry about covering the inside, obviously, if it's a pocket. Okay, so just covering my glue stick here, just covering the top layer of it. And then I'm not going to put them together yet because I'm just going to glue that on there. Um, let's see here. My, my daughter is texting me. So I'm going to step away for a second. I'll be back.
Okay, so I had a little change of plans here, and sorry about that interruption. Um, I did go ahead and put the craft paper on these. I did cut the tabs off, and I'm just going to put them, I inked around them. I'm just going to pin them in on the back of this one so that I know that's for that. So our next page then is this one. Bailey's ripping her blanket again. <laughs> and I don't want to cover any of it up, but I was thinking I could do... Um, you know, like a little corner or a side tuck or something. I don't know that I really need it, um, but let's go ahead and do it anyways because we want more tags and stuff in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of our paper. I don't, I think I want it to be craft color to match this. So I just can use any scrap, let's see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I should be more organized, but I'm not. So I'm just digging in my scraps over here. And let's see, can we get the craft paper? Is that going to be sturdy enough pocket? I don't think so. Bailey, seriously. <laughs> What if we did like a little fabric one? Maybe let's try that. I pulled out this fabric. I thought this was really cool fabric and I think it kind of goes with it. So let's see. Or if we just do a ruffle on the bottom and tuck a tag in the ruffle, maybe that would be fun. Let's do that, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Bailey, no. And rip that down. Okay, so that's gonna be way too wide, but when we get the ruffle made, we'll just glue that on the bottom. And then my thoughts are, let's grab one of these little tags that we had cut out. You know, that would just slide right in there. And I think that'll work pretty well. So what I'm gonna do with this piece is I'm just gonna take about, I don't know, I'll say that much <laughs> and I'm gonna fold that up because when I'm stitching I'll just stitch the ruffle and I'm gonna clip that right to the bottom of this I know it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense but in my mind it does <laughs> okay so that's the plan for that then we flip the page <clears throat> and this one we could I don't really I, I struggle with wanting to cover anything up but if I don't put cover things up I won't get pockets and stuff. But I'm wondering if we did another belly band. You know, we could do little notepads in there. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and on this one, I think I want to use the top piece here. Do we want a bolder? No, that's kind of orange up there. I think, I think that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim, just kind of eyeballing what I would want for like a belly band. This one, Bailey. See, she heard me ripping fabrics, so now she thinks she's gonna play. I don't know what she's gonna do when her blanket is shredded. Yeah, that'll work right there. So let's go ahead and ink the edges of that one. And we'll, like I said, we'll decorate these. We'll come back and decorate later. I, there's a lot of thinking when I stitch the stuff together because I have to do it in certain steps. And yeah, okay. This here one just tells me that we need to make this a side tuck, and I think that I think that's a good idea. And let's just make it a little bit. What if we just went up to here? Well, we could do the whole edge of that, right? This isn't big enough, but let's see. I like the look of that but it's not going to be very sturdy. So let's see, what did we, we have this one here that is the, you know, the backing um, in this top part here, I could easily use. Let's do that. Are you sneezing now? Cause you have blanket strings in your nose. Goodness, I have a mess around me. When I'm working on a project, that's what happens. Just... So let's 
so part of it, I guess. I'm gonna go right to that, a little, a little on the edge of that, um, that line that was on there so that we can still use this if we want for something else. Okay, so set that back over there. And now, yeah, I do like that. So I'm just gonna hold that on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and even though I can't cut straight, we're gonna give it a try. Cut that off. Into that tag shape. I'm gonna save that piece. And yeah, that'll, I think that'll work really good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ink this. And then pin that on there. The construction of this little tag book is so cool, um, but yet I wanted to get a little more journaling space in there. You know, not it's not like a like a big journal that you're gonna journal in, you know, like a year or something. I I kind of see this being more for like a trip or you know something like that. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. Whoa, hold up, okay. Oh yeah, we had that flip in there, okay, never mind. All right, now on this side, this one I'm gonna make a pocket on, down here. And let's make a double pocket, I think. I'm gonna move the pocket up just above this. I like that on the bottom, but I think I might flip that for our first pocket. So we're gonna cut this one at four. Inches, it's just a smidge smaller here. So four inches. And then I'm gonna find another piece here of these that we like with above that. Okay, so I think I like that. I'm gonna cut this at four. Wait a minute, this is already cut at four, I think, right? Yes, it is. So we're just gonna go ahead and Cut that right there. And I'm gonna flip that over and have that like that. So, and now um, what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna punch one of the little divot things here and one up on this side. When they're kind of off-centered like that, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, if I can find my hole punch in my disaster here. All right, so I'm just gonna move this in a little bit because I'm gonna stitch around this, so. Just pop that in there, and then Bailey, settle. That's my chair. How in the world did you do that? Somehow she got the bottom of my chair chewed off. That little cover that goes over the pole thing. Bailey, seriously. I don't understand. Do you think you're a dinosaur or something? Mr. T-Rex, you can eat everything? She does. She eats everything. I can't wait till it's nice outside. And um, we're training her with the invisible fencing right now. So I don't 100% trust her. And I don't want her to go get hit by a car or something. So then when I'm working in my studio, I can just plop her outside and she loves to be outside and and stuff. But the funny thing here is guys, with this dog. Okay, so she is a German short-haired pointer. Well, they're bird dogs. Well, we have a goose, a duck, and a chicken. And try to teach the dog that there are friends, you know? So we had set up the um, invisible fencing around the studio here so she can't get over there you know so they have their area because they just they all they just free range like anywhere um yeah so so far the invisible fencing seems to be working um with her it's just been really nasty weather and so it's kind of my own fault I just haven't really had the time to go and work with her like I should. So that's my fault, but doesn't still doesn't give her a right to chew everything of mine up, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this one on here. 
Okay. So, and then we had, I didn't ink this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, ink that. Otherwise, I'll think I didn't find something for it. I, li I love that picture. Okay, so that goes like that and that on there um let's clip that on there too bailey please all right so then that's gonna go right no this one goes like this okay yeah because the openings of your tag go in the center here when you're working on it okay so we have this i really like that with with this one and on this one hmm. what if we made a little mini fabric flip would that be cool well you can't really journal under here and i don't really uncover that so maybe on that not on that page but well none of those ones are going to work for what i want to do um I, I definitely want something else on this one again what if what if we do a flip up of some kind? Or, you know, we could just simply clip a tag in too. That would work. The flips kind of, I'm a little nervous on flips because the sewing is gonna be such a nightmare already. Um, we're gonna leave this one, I think. I'm just gonna leave this one plain. So I'm gonna ink it so that we you know. And we can always come decorate it with a little cluster and you know, maybe we'll put a cluster in some small tags. You know, there's those little mini tags in the in that little pack. So that's what we'll do with you know the spots where where we think we might need some more. Okay, so that is correct. The center is there. This one. This one looks like I could put a tuck up here and then just tuck something in there. So, what if we did, because we have the ruffle on the bottom, what if we did a ruffle on the top here now so that it kind of levels the book out, you know? Does this color look okay in here? And you know, we can tuck something up there. Yes, and I'll trim this down shorter um, when I get to it. So for right now, Bailey, no. You can't eat my paper. Uh, yes, I love you too, puppy, but right now you should just take a nap. Take a nap. Okay, so. Ink it. I wasn't going to ink everything in here, but I like the black soot on it, so change of plan. What did you just take? When she does that, she grabs something. What do you have? <laughs> no, Bailey. She pulled that part of my chair that I had out of the garbage. <laughs> okay, be good puppy now. All right. Got that inked. There she goes again. <sighs> Really no. Come here. So on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and make a pocket here. It's just kind of going to be a shallow pocket. So grab my little cutter here and trim that off. Yeah, that'll work just fine because you'll still see the little animals. I'm going to go ahead and pop a little thumb in this one. For like the journal papers or not journal papers papers but like the little notepads and stuff like that I'm gonna use coffee dyed paper and then um like the tag backings as well I think that'll look really nice
All right, so clip that on there. Let's see, I gotta grab a couple more clips. So there we have that one. And then on the very back of it, I'm just gonna leave the back. So I will go ahead and Bailey, seriously. No, she's chewing on the cha on my chair and she just, it's one of those adjustable ones and I, she just dropped my chair. So I almost fell on the floor there. All right, let's ink this here. And then I'm gonna go and take this puppy outside. And so I'm gonna call this a video and then I will be back with part two. And um, so I hope you guys um, click on the link in the description box and go, go check out Tracy's um, tag book because it's amazing and then you can kind of see where it's going too. like we're gonna be um, we're gonna be getting some fabric out and it's it's sewed and stitched with fabric and that's how it's bound let's say that was a little crazy okay there we go so all right you guys thank you for watching and sorry for all the distractions and the doggy again of course um, I'm gonna have to get a, a dog sitter because if I leave her in my house like she'll destroy everything. So, all right, there we have it. Thank you guys again for watching and we will see you in the next video. Take care.